Right guys, we made it, we're here. Um, so I'm just gonna get uh, just gonna get a few things sorted out, put the awning up, which I haven't got, I don't know why I said that, put the um, windbreaker up and a few of the bits and bobs and yeah. Welcome to my new football. Play football. Yeah. So we're here, it's a lot busier this time. We're in a really horrible place. I didn't this is like the worst place. It's literally it's the worst place because it's the only tree in the campsite around this area and when the sun sets the tree is going to block the solar and not when the sun sets obviously but you know what I mean yeah it's uh it's just not an ideal position but yeah there we go don't know if about that can we right let's get sorted Good morning from Haven again. We're back again. Peace and quiet. Amika's just been to the shop. Did you get it? Huh? Did you get it? Yep. Let's have a look. £6.95. Wow, that's cheap. It's doubled the price of the shop. I know. What a ripoff. That's how we make the money. So I forgot the coffee machine. What a nightmare. The joy of emptying the van and re building it every single time we get in and out of it so always forget something every time don't even say write a list because i've got a list but the list is that big it's quite easy to miss something off it daddy can i go to the shop and buy something for you yes see ya why are you going to the shop to buy something for me because that football well, because that football you can pay me back six pound round to five aren't you you said you'll pay me back. Hold on a second. Pay you back? Oh yeah, I owe you six pound for that. Yeah, you're right. Six pound And I owe you five for that. So how much is left? One pound ninety five. I owe you. Dad, I'm not. I'm going to buy you a present instead of paying you. Okay, go on then. Okay. Make sure it's sweet. I will make sure it's sweet. Bit of video editing. And here comes Miss Independent. Ah, yeah. okay, never mind. Maybe I'll look later as well. You can go later. <laughs> what? Corgi. A squeezy corgi. Oh, corgi! But I don't want a corgi. Huh? I don't want a corgi. I want a corgi. Oh. <laughs> How much is that? £2.99. It's amazing who you meet. The security guy here that's in that hut over there just came over and said Haven's policy is no electric scooters, which we knew anyway. But turns out he's ex-military and spent a significant amount of time in Afghanistan before the 2006 uh, Three Para went in, in 2006 uh, invasion of Afghanistan. So yeah, he was telling me lots of stories about what life was like in Afghanistan before the Brits and Americans turned up. Um, obviously, he was a security consultant out there, helping and aiding the Afghans with security. And then the Brits and Americans came in and destroyed everything. Interesting, huh? How very interesting. History just goes round and round in circles. 
but yeah, he said it was all peaceful before then. He said there was obviously a lot of crime there, but there was crime everywhere, right? He said it was relatively peaceful. The Afghans ruled the place. Most of what you hear and see on the news isn't true. You know, it's all blown out of proportion. So, how interesting. I just thought I'd share that with you. Also, I forgot to say, the reason he left was because a lady just came over in a car and it's all been smashed in on the front end. And she was like, it wasn't like that when I got here. It's now smashed up. So somebody's hit a vehicle. Now, do you remember last week in the last video, I shared a um, the dash cam video. That dash cam, if it's plugged into your ignition with a live feed, will turn itself on and record the previous 30 seconds. So if that dash cam had been in her window and set up like that, it would have recorded that car hit. Just saying. We've got another power station to test. Come on, let's have a look. Blurty have sent me the EB70. This is 700, roughly 700 watt um, power station, which is gonna come in very handy because of the size of it. Would you look how small this is? Amazing. So before we look at the power station itself, let's just see what goodies it comes with. It comes with a charging unit, to TS200. It might be 200 watts, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but anyway, it comes with a charging unit. Does it have any USBs or anything on it? No, just a standard charging box. Obviously, comes with the usual connectors for solar and 240. So that's all good. So this unit itself comes with the usual 100 watt USB-C port. <clears throat> it's also got two USB-A ports. It's got these 12 volt 10 amp ports. I've never seen anybody use. 12 volt socket and two times 240. And also it's got a light on it as well, which clearly works. Oh, and it's even got SOS on it. So that could come in handy if you're carrying it up a mountain somewhere. It's a 700 watt power station. It's got lithium ion battery, pure sine wave inverter, connects to solar, all the usual stuff. So I guess that the main input for this is through this socket here, which is what all those plugs will connect to. So your solar, yeah, look on the other end you've got there. So your solar goes into that, plug it straight in and it'll work really simple. Every time a new power station comes out, they come up with new designs, new features. Uh, so everything here is on the front, which is good. Quite like that. So 700 watt, let's see if it'll work with the air fryer. <laughs> Now, this does have a, it's a thousand watt inverter. The air fryer's 1,300 watts, so I don't know if it's gonna work. So we turn on the AC. Is that on? Yeah, the little light's on. Let's turn on the air fryer. Give it some heat, see what happens. Overload. So this will not run the air fryer, which is a damn shame. Yeah, that is a real shame. Well, that's good to know. Um, I did think it was going to run the air fryer, but obviously it's not. So um, whatever the inverter is, it does not have the capacity to run it, which is a real shame. Ah, it's an 800 watt inverter. 800 watt inverter with a thousand watt surge. So it's just not powerful enough. So yeah, unfortunately it doesn't run my air fryer, which is a real shame, but what it does do charges everything else. So there is a couple of things that I do need to charge up in the van, which is my mobile phone, because that's running uh, pre pretty low. And I do also need to charge, um, what else do I need to charge? There's another thing that I need to charge. Ah, the charging stick that the GoPro's on right now. So I'm going to have to take the GoPro off this stick to be able to charge it. Um, but we'll get those on charge and then I'm going to get some food on the go because I'm starving. What I will do is apologise for any noise you can hear in the background. I am at a campsite so there is a lot of noise in the background especially considering it's now seven o'clock in the evening. People have been drinking for most of the day and uh, yeah a lot of them are, are on their way out for the evening so yeah there may be a bit of background noise so I apologise for that. So that's now on charge and then with the USB-A I'm gonna put this on charge as well. 
super handy. There we go, that's some charge as well. See, that's charging, and also my, well, you can't really focus on it, but you can see the phone there is also on charge. So the good thing about this um, power station as well is not only do you get the battery, you can also see the input and output. So if this was on charge, you'd see how much solar was coming in from here. Uh, and also you can see how much is going out there. So there's 30 watts of, you can just about see it, it's not very good on this camera. Um, 30 watts of power going out of that power station, which is really good. Yeah, so super handy little power station. I'm gonna leave these things on charge because they do need charging up. My phone is on 13%, so I'm gonna leave that on. Although interestingly, on top of here, there is actually a wireless output charger. Now my iPhone sticks out because of that lump, so usually it's very difficult to get wireless charging, especially with the cover on. Oh, here we go. Is that going to do something? Because the iPhone isn't flush, because of the camera that sticks out in the back, you've got to get it in the right place. There you go. Oh, it said they're charging. There we go. It's charging now. So I'm going to leave that on there, although it'll slow charger. Slow charger? Charge slower. <laughs> it will charge slower from that, but let's see what happens. It's on 13%. Let's leave it for a bit. But yeah, good little power station, 700 watts, portable. You can take it wherever you want with you, pretty much. And there you go, another cool little power station. I quite like the light on it as well. I think that's, that could be very useful. Uh, it's actually got different settings. So it's got, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but let's get a half decent angle. So it's got on, yeah, it's not very, very good on this camera, but it's got on and then it's got brighter and then it's got SOS. And then off again so yeah nice little buttons everything works as it should you can turn things on and off quite easily so dc off dc on ac off on ac off yeah really good i like it so we've got the air fryer on the go food's cooking away no need for a barbecue the bluetti ac 200 max the workhorse still going strong giving us plenty of power we're on 100% because it's been a sunny day so you see there it's pulling 1300 watts 93% now so it does use quite a bit of power because obviously it's pulling, pulling a lot of it but then again we're charging back up out there so all is good all is good right let me get the rest of this food cooked let everything charge up and call it a night